Hi there, I'm Stuart Smith and welcome to my Short Game Academy. Today we're going to go around the four awkward lies in a bunker on each of the sides. So we'll start with the one where the ball is below your feet. So the ball would roll into a bunker. Let's pull it back a bit to make it a little bit harder. There we go. So it's a bit closer to the edge. Now, when you play these shots, I think what you have to do is try not to worry too much about the technique of the bunker. What you've got to do is two things. You've got to really try your hardest to get it into the sand just before the ball and you've got to try your hardest to follow through. If you can do that and we get your setup right and your positioning correct, the ball should come out of the bunker. Now from these, you're obviously going to change your, your goals, what you think you're going to do. In other words, if we were in the middle of the bunker, I'd expect to put it next to the hole. On these, of course, we'd always like it close, but realistically, out of the bunker. Okay, so. <laughs> what I do is when I play these shots, let's say we're going for the bar flag, when I play these shots, I work out what's my hazard, what's the problem with this shot. So this one here, I'm on a steep bank first of all. Okay, we're on a steep bank and the ball is a long way below me. Okay, so it's going to be very, very easy to catch the ball here, in which case if it gets out of the bunker, it's going to go into the trees. And going the other way, I might take too much sand, in which case the ball won't come out far enough. If I had to pick a bail bun, I'd have that one. At least it would come out of the bunker because I'd make sure I follow through. So, this one, as you can see, I'm squatting down a lot more and my legs are an awful lot wider for this shot. This is to give me stability. And I'm going to move myself until I get into a position where I feel like I'm going to hit the sand a couple of inches behind the ball. So I wouldn't think about what the textbook says, have it forwards or back. I'm going to get myself comfortable. Comfortable is the most important thing on any of these shots. So, I'm in this position here. The cut face, I've only got a tiny bit open, just a fraction, just to help me get over the lip. Now on these shots, I play the swing, and if I lose my balance, that's fine. I'm not be too worried about that. And again, the, the key here is to make sure I hit the sand. So we've got to get into the sand, and I must follow through. If I do the follow through, this ball should pop out of the bunker. So let's have a go. I'm also holding it at the top of the grip, which is higher than what I normally would. That's to compensate for the ball being below my feet. So let's see what happens. There we go. As I said, I'll take it a little bit heavier, which I'm happy with. At least the ball comes out of the bunker. Okay, so that's that one there. The thing to watch out for is missing the ball and catching it too hard and not following through. To hit it a little bit heavy is fine, so long as you follow through, and at least the ball comes out of the bunker. Okay, let's have a go for the one up the front now. Let me grab a ball. So this is one that all golfers hate. Here we go, that, that, that's a perfect one. So we're up the uh, face like this. Now, I hear a lot of the time, well, we can't get the ball over the lip of the bunker. And what you have to remember is this. Let's say my shaft here is, is the level of the bunker, it's flat. When we hit a normal bunker shot, our trajectory is probably like this, because we're playing a splash shot. Okay, so if I alter my shaft to the level of the slope, can you see what happens? The ball should now go vertical. So to actually see the ball popping up is the easy bit. To get the ball moving forwards is much harder. And that's where we're going to put a lot of power into the shot. I still try and follow through here, okay? I know you're going into the face of the bunker. I know it's been very hard to follow through, but I'm certainly not going to quit. I am going to try to follow through as much as possible. Set up, this is important, this. Watch what I do with my right foot. I get my right foot up high, and then it slides down the bunker. See how high my left foot is. If you're back here, there's no way you're gonna hit the sand in the right place. So we get our back foot up, and as you can see, I'm almost pushing it down. So I've got a wall or a barrier here to support me. <coughs> so the ball is opposite the back foot, or maybe just inside. This is supporting me, okay? So that, that one there is just to make sure I don't fall. That everything is on this back foot. And from here, I should be able to play the shot as normal. I'm gonna hit the sand, we're gonna to try to follow through. But again, this will take more power because as I said, the launch, it goes more vertical. Club, I would hold it square. I've got it a fraction open. I don't need a lot because height is not the issue, distances. So let's have a go here. So again, see my foot slipping? This back foot mustn't slip, so you see how far it slid down the bunker. 
So let's have a go here. So in just before the ball. There you go. So see how hard I've hit that and the ball's come out. Not gone that, that far. That's because there was loads of sand there. But again, we're out of the bunker and my club got stuck there. Okay, so it is possible to do a follow through. And again, as long as we're out of the bunker, we're happy with that. Let's go for this one. Okay, this one here is an interesting one. So there we go. So you can normally get a swing on this shot, but what you have to be careful of is let's just say the flag was further over to the right. You don't want to have to swing across the bank. So we're going to go where we can get a swing in without taking on too much off the side. So from here, I'd hold the, the face open and again, we're going roughly in the right direction for the flag. This is what we've got to be careful on this shot, is as the club comes in, because we're on a slope, the heel could catch and we could really twist over. So we could hook it back into the bunker. So if I was going to play this shot, I'm down the grip, so completely the opposite of the one where it's below our feet. I've got the ball fairly centre again, and this time I'm actually going to hold it quite tight. I don't normally do that in a bunker, but we're going to hold it tight, and again, it's sand and it's follow through and I'm gonna be aware that the club wants to twist close. So I'm gonna to try to hold it open. Again, we're looking just to hit a couple of inches behind the ball. <coughs> there's probably gonna be quite a lot of sand here like the other two because there's normally more sand on the edge of the bunker than there is the center. So again, the follow through is key. All we're looking is to get it onto the green, we're gonna be happy. So let's have a go here, do the sweep. So as you can see, I've hit that very, very hard again took lots of set and the balls come out and we were lucky enough it didn't turn over okay so again as I said it's not about getting them close to the hole for these shots it's just about getting the ball out of the bunker now the hardest one okay so let's drop a ball and as you can see oh that's unfortunate is it got this to me that'll be a hard one okay so this is the hardest we've got this lip here if we can't get down and into the sand, the shot becomes very, very hard. We have a lip up the front, which sometimes we'll be able to get over, sometimes we won't, depending on how wide the bunker is. So this one here, as you can see, the problem is coming down and catching the bank. If I was to catch the bank, there's a good job, the club will bounce and we'll totally miss the ball. So again, what I'm going to do first of all is get myself into a position where I feel I can hit the sand and not the ball or the bank. So you can see how actually I, I can go like this, have one foot in the bunker. Let's see if this feels comfortable. That bunker's a long way back. Sorry, the lip's a long way back here. That is definitely a problem. Where we've caught it here, that will be a problem. We'll have a go at playing it though. The other option is to go out sideways, backwards, and then chip over. So, in order to miss this, I'm having to come down extremely steep. So let's just have a go here. So in order to miss it, you can see how steep the club's gone into the sand. Therefore, if I don't follow through, the ball's not coming out. So I have to make sure I do the follow through here. So as we go into the sand, I'm physically making sure I send the club all the way through. We are gonna be hitting a lot of sand again, and there's a very good chance this ball's only gonna run up the lip. So let's have a go. Let's get myself into a position here where we can hit this one. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Got away with that one. So as you can see, and even then, I've just caught the back of the bunker here, but I've got it into the sand and we follow through. Okay, so obviously it's gone next to the flag or over the moon. That, to be quite honest, if it came out of the bunker, I would be happy. So on all of them, I didn't think about the technique, I got myself into a position where I felt I was in the best place to hit the sand just before the ball. Okay, so it's hitting the sand before the ball, and on the edge of the bunkers, the sand is normally a lot deeper. It's gonna be heavier. You have to really focus on getting the club through. Have a practice at that and see how you get on. Maybe don't go too close to the edges to begin with until you've got the idea of it. Good luck.